west. Twelve days later, the consequences of the convoy are spreading across the country. Things are only getting worse, and the Prime Minister continues to ignore advice from outside his Ottawa bubble. In Windsor, the Ambassador Bridge has been forced to close. This has devastated not only just truckers, but also businesses, residents, and essential workers who cross the border every single day to save lives. The disrespect to our local economy is one thing, but it's clear that there is no plan for border communities and we want a plan. The NDP has proposed a safe border task force. It's been ignored for two years. Why has this not been acted upon? Why can't we get in front of actually doing the right work and the right thing? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my Honourable colleague uh, for his question. I know his uh, advocacy will be very important in the coming days. Um, he reached out to me earlier and he and I will be having a conversation. I also want to uh, assure him and everybody in the uh, Windsor area that we are working very closely with CBSA officials who are coordinating both with, with, with Windsor Police as well as the Mayor, with whom I've also had contact. There's a full core press to ensure that we keep uh, supply chains moving on the Ambassador Bridge. We've diverted some of those uh, traffic uh, uh, lines to uh, alternate ports of entry, and we'll be sure that we uh, continue to work very closely with all orders of government and law enforcement to get this